Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to Tour and Relocation Community. My name's Aisha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what are the economic opportunities available in Ghana. But more importantly, what the focus of this video really is, is how do I best prepare for them? What do I need to do to prepare for these economic opportunities? So we're going to go through five things you can do to prepare for the economic opportunities that are available in Ghana. Number one thing you can do to capitalize on the opportunities here in Ghana is, have you guessed it? Save your money. I repeat, save your money. I know in those dark and cold winters in England or in New York or wherever you're at, you want to order, get her, take away fast food, spending how much of your money is going to fast food and snacks or Ubers. Listen, have a long-term vision and a long-term goal for why you are saving. What ultimately are you trying to do? Do you want to buy land? Do you want to start an investment portfolio in property? Do you want to have enough funds to... Um, have the seed money for any business ideas that could come up and will come up when you're here. Get clear on the vision and that will be able to discipline you in terms of short-term satisfaction versus long-term goals. I'd say look at how much money is going out that isn't, that's just seeping out, that isn't actually contributing to your desired move to come to Ghana or to travel to Africa. So take a look at your finances and see what you can save and you'll be surprised how much you can save with focused attention. So save your money, that is number one. Number two, identify what your core interests are and what your temperament is because when you come here, there are so many different directions that you could go in and so many different opportunities. So it's not so much the opportunities is more so who are you, where do your core interests lie, what is your personality type, is your goal long-term or short-term investments. Things will tap on your shoulders that align and resonate with your vibration. And you, you might not already always know what it is. Refine those things, um, hone in on those things, see how you can make those things asset to you. Um, whether you do freelance work or or whether you just need to refine your knowledge on a topic that you already have interest in you'd be surprised how these things become assets when you get here and how it could support you either in the interim or in a vision a business opportunity that could be unfolding whilst you're here so get clear on who you are what you like refine those things respect those things and build them so by the time you get to ghana you have something to stand on in that way. Number three, your skills. These skills, you're gonna have to um, look at your skills because the skills that you have will help you when you're here, one way or the other. And to be honest, what you attract is probably gonna be aligned with, again, your core interests and your skills. So take a look at what your skills are professionally or personally and, and start to, ascertain value to them because they are valuable they may have not been a valuable or you couldn't find a way to place them where you are but here there is so much opportunity that there is a way for you to capitalize on your skill set so take a look at what your skill sets are and write them down number four this is a long-term game nothing in africa is just at a, in a blink of an eye Nothing is just like magic. It's gonna take more time than you think. So I suggest that you have a short-term plan, a mid-term plan, and a long-term plan. What are you gonna do in the present moment to sustain yourself? What are you gonna invest in now for mid-term gains? And what are you gonna also invest in now and in the mid-term for long-term gains? You might have some skills that will support you in making income in the short term. Um, and support you in building cash flow for the midterm. So just think in terms of those three pockets because I believe that's very helpful in terms of being successful in Ghana. And point number five is how do you prepare to receive all the opportunities 
that are available here in Ghana and on the continent. Book your ticket. You have to come. You have to see for yourself. You have to experience the land, experience the culture, experience the people, experience the challenges, experience the um, assets. And there's no way for you to have a real understanding of how to even approach things without being there yourself and understanding or completely outsourcing it to somebody who is completely there and their role is to execute on your behalf. But even then, you have to be here. It's really the only way. So before we go, I do want to say, reel off a few industries that one could possibly enter. There's transport, there's credit lending, there's real estate, there's restaurants, there's entertainment, there's tourism, there's waste management. Transport goes into delivery, transport of people, goods. There's, those are just a few just off the top of my head. I just wanted to reel off a few um, that are there. There's childcare. There is infinite, to be honest. Um, it just is going to take relationship building, determination, persistence, and a willing heart. Like I said, this isn't a short-term gig. This is like a life passion. This is something that you're passionate about building your country, your home, your nation, your people. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you liked about the video. Tell me what you'd like to see more of. Share your thoughts. I'm always interested to know. Bye now.